The small Usizo Luencosi tour group mixes with daily commuters on public taxi minivans to travel from downtown Johannesburg to the most populous black urban residential area in South Africa. It is a low-cost tour that offers a real Soweto experience. Tour guide Natombi, who lives in Soweto, escorts Canadians Beth Bromberg and Gary Barwin through a poor neighborhood where few other tours go. Here, government housing, built in the last decade, has improved the lives of many, while other families still live in metal shacks. The group is invited into people's homes, and Beth, with a pocket full of candy, easily makes friends with the local children. She says in this small group setting, she can learn about culture and conditions in a way that is sensitive to the people. I just didn't want to be gawking at anyone. If I couldn't do this with respect, I wasn't going to do it. And I felt this was the right way to be shown around by someone who's from Soweto. The centerpiece of any Soweto tour, of course, is the visit to the house where Nelson Mandela lived shortly before he was imprisoned in 1962. After years of leading opposition to South Africa's government, and its policy of white minority rule. The small brick structure is full of photos and memorabilia depicting Mr. Mandela as a young activist, and after his release 27 years later when he helped negotiate the end of apartheid, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, and was elected the first black president of South Africa. Natombi says after all these years, Nelson Mandela's story remains a great inspiration for South Africans. It's very rare to see somebody suffer for the whole nation. I think if it's me, I can suffer for me and my family. <laughs> the tour also stops at the nearby house of Bishop Desmond Tutu, who also won a Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to end apartheid. More tourists are now coming to Soweto to see the monuments and learn about the past. Natombi says she also wants to show tourists that Soweto today has changed and is not the crime-ridden neighborhood it once was. Soweto is known as a dangerous area, but I'm so happy to say it's not a dangerous area, as the most of the people coming from different countries have been seen that Soweto is a good area. Even if you're walking, because people are friendly, as you saw, uh, it's a safe place now. It has been almost 20 years since the end of apartheid and Nelson Mandela's old neighborhood reflects both the progress made and the problems that still remain in the new South Africa. Brian Patton, VOA News, Johannesburg.